Hello there, and welcome back to another Thunderous Productions tutorial. I'm the madman behind the mic, Jag Thunder, and this is Minecraft. Welcome back, everybody, to another tutorial. This one a lot of people have been waiting for. About a week or two ago, we put up the USS Enterprise aircraft carrier tutorial, and a lot of you are now waiting for the planes that you saw in the video and you should be looking at them right now on the screen. These are what we're going to be building in this uh, in this quick video. It should be really easy, pretty painless. I've got uh, three designs, a regular size that will fit the full size Enterprise that I have built, and then I've got some mini versions that will go on the little E, and that tutorial should come out shortly after this video, probably a couple weeks, guys. Uh, but that's what you see here uh, in the background or in the picture, whatever I'm showing you right now. Uh, but anyways, that's what we're going to do. Like I said, it should be easy. Let's jump in here and get this shit rolling. Alright, so you've seen what we're going to build, guys. And this is what I have. I'm going to fly over them again, get a little cl uh, closer look at what I have. This is going to be the bigger one, and obviously that's going to be the smaller one. And then we'll get to the helicopter. So is what we're going to start with, we're going to start with the F-14. You can do it in white, or you can do it in gray. It doesn't matter. Uh, they look best in the sky. Uh, put them up probably about 60 blocks and they look really good. Uh, the smoke trails behind them I did with cobwebs and they're about 90, 90 spaces long, 80 to 90. And just stagger the ends, that's all. Don't make them even or just it doesn't look really good. So that's, that's the easy part there. <laughs> Actually this is all pretty easy. But I'm going to show you how to uh, build the airplanes first with the wheels down. And then all you have to do after you get the main design is tear the wheels back off and put bombs on it and I'll cover that uh, in each section so the first one we're going to cover is the F-14 alright so this is the real quick pattern for the F-14 and we're going to build it I just want to show you the layout real quick there's 11 blocks between this bl front black tire and the back axles so right behind here if you count back 11 blocks to this block right here this would be block number 11 starting with the first grass block and then count each way one, two, and three, and put a wheel, and then a, a fence post, and then one, two, three, uh, wheel, and a fence post. And I'm not going to build that because that's really fucking simple. So 11 blocks, counting from right here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. Right there. And a fence post and a wheel. Okay, now go to the first block and put a fence post on it and grab your white or your gray wool, whatever you're using for your material, and go back two, three, and four. Now you're going to go three wide and then seven back from there. So two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And that should connect into your wheel well, so you'll need another fence post here and another one right there. Then add four more blocks, one, two, three, and four, and that'll be the base. Now you're going to come back up here to the front, and you're going to put one block here and put two in front of that. And on the second block, you're going to go three wide, just like this, and you're going to go five blocks deep. So there's four, and there's five. Now from this block here, you're going to start going back at a diagonal, and you're going to have nine blocks. And you can leave the blocks in because you're going to fill the center piece in. So one, two three four five six seven eight and nine and this is going to come back towards the main body and do the same thing on the other side and fill in the center piece all right now that you have that built we're going to come from the tip of the wing and count in one two three four five six seven and on the eighth block you're going to put a block do the same thing, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, put a block. Now you should have seven wide counting that block. Two, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. You're gonna do two rows of seven, one row of five, two rows of three, and one block at the end. That's the second layer. All right, starting on your nose section, guys, put one block here and there, and then come back six, two, three, four, five, and six. Two, three, four, five, and six. You're going to put one more block here and now grab a stone half slab and put it across there. Grab your levers and put one here and one here. Grab your stone stairs for your seats just like that. Go back to your white or your gray. Grab your glass blocks and make the cockpit area. So that's what you should have. Now from the sixth block you're going to go out and go back by four and then go back uh, out one and back by eleven. So there's four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Do the same thing on the other side. 
two, three, four, four, <laughs> one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Now you're gonna go right down the middle from this last glass block, put one, and you're gonna go back twelve, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Now you're gonna come back to the third block, which is right here, and make that too high, and go at an angle too high and put one here so this is what you have so far and you should have five blocks two three four and five and now you're gonna go three blocks and then two blocks and do the same thing on this side so you're gonna go two high and put one there go back five three whoops three and then two on the third set of blocks down gonna go three and then two and do the same thing over here you go three and then two and now just fill in this main part on that side on this side and that side and that's what you should have so far. Now let's duck down in here and finish off this. All right, now we're gonna build this thing. Put two blocks here, two blocks here, two, two blocks here, and two, whoops, two blocks there, and then two blocks right there. And that's it, that is your F14. Super simple. If you want to, you can put iron blocks in for the, uh, for the turbines. You can put them either here, or you can put them up in here, or you can even put them out here on the sides. I would probably recommend out here on the sides it looks a little bit better, it looks a little, a little bit cleaner. Uh, so that's the F14, super simple. Let's build a mini version of it. All right, the mini one is really simple. Uh, forgot to mention on the big one, you want to put what, uh, buttons on the outside of the, the black blocks to make it look like hubs. Uh, it's optional, but I think it does look better if you do that. So you want to put your first wheel down and then count back one, two, three, four, five, six go over one put a fence post and a wheel go over one put a fence post and a wheel now you're gonna put one fence post right here and now you're gonna grab your white or your gray and go back eight blocks one two three four five six seven eight just like that and now you're gonna put one two three four and five and do the same thing on the other side skip two blocks one two three four and five you're gonna go up to the top and you put one block here and go forward three and run that all the way back until it hangs over one block just like that all right now we're gonna go back to the front and we're gonna skip the first four blocks and we're gonna put one here and one here and now we're gonna come out by one two and three and then on the fourth one is gonna be three long and then connect that back here to the body and fill that in. Do the same thing over here. Skip four blocks, one, two, come out one, two, three, and then on the fourth one should be three long. Connect that to the body. Just like that. All right, back to your nose section. Skip the first two blocks, put a half slab, put a piece of glass. And that's going to be your cockpit area. Now you want to go back one, two, three, four, five. Go over one, go over one, go diagonal, diagonal, and then back just like that. So you have three blocks and then put two on top. Whoops, two on top. Real simple so far, guys. Come back here to the back and we're going to finish this piece out by putting one block here, one block here, and one block there. Now you can take those blocks out here and take those out right there and if you want to you can put your iron blocks right up in here for your exhaust ports and that's it that's the small f14 guys really super simple uh, let's go ahead and move on to the uh, e2 hawkeye okay before we begin the hawkeye let's talk real quick about how to put the bombs on it you can do it a couple different ways and if you look at the uh, this one I have here is one two three four five six seven eight and then remember nine, we had three blocks out here. So if you take those three blocks and turn that into a missile by using a black and then white blocks here or gray if you're using the white and gray pattern. Mm -hmm. And then I just put bars in between to um, uh, make it look like a rail system. And then same thing here, skip a row, put a bomb and they're three, three wide. Skip a row and then put a bomb which is three wide. And then up under the body, right here you can put three bombs with a rack and then three bombs with a rack, or <laughs> three blocks with a, uh, with a rack. Same thing on the other side, that's, that's one design. Another one is just to take the end three blocks and add one more 
right here. So you're going to have four blocks. And the same thing applies is you're going to uh, skip two rows here and you're going to put two blocks instead of three. Skip a row and put two blocks instead of uh, three. Up underneath, right there, you're going to put two just off this forward piece. You can make it three if you want to until it touches the two bottom black blocks or the two white <laughs> blocks. And then on the back side, same thing. Let me just dig down real quick so you can see it. Uh, you can put one back up in here and have it three long or just two long. It doesn't matter. It, it looks good either way on the big plane to have either two or three blocks for your bombs. Uh, so you can bring the, these right back to your one block off of here. And if you make that three, you'll be two blocks off of that one. Real simple on the bombs. Nothing, nothing complicated, guys. You should be able to figure that out. I'm not going to go too much further in depth. Uh, so either design works good. On the small planes, this is what it's going to look like. Uh, just rip the wheels off, obviously. On the uh, inside of the body, skip two blocks, make it three long. Skip one row of blocks and then come back to this set here and make it three long. And then on the outside, right here, you're going to put four blocks. So on the tip of the wing where there you've got three, you're just going to make it four. One, two, three, and four. And that's it. Like I said, just rip the wheels off and you've got a plane that's flying. Put uh, three right here so when it's in the air you won't see this anyways. Skip a row and put three right here. And that's it. Real simple. Let's build the Hawkeye. All right, so starting with your base, again, put your front wheel down and you can put buttons on it one more time. For your front block, you're going to come back one, two, three, four, five, six. This time on the third block, put your fence post and on the fourth block, put your wheels. So it's second, third, and fourth. And that's what that should look like. Now grab your white or your gray, whatever you want to use, put one block here and put two in the front. And we're going to build that pattern right there. So you're going to go back one. You have two rows of three, and then a row of five. One, two, three, four, five. Now you're going to go back to three, and you're going to repeat this pattern four times. So put another row of five, a row of three, a row of five, a row of three. And a row of five and a row of three so that's what you should have you should have four of these things sticking out just like that now you're going to put a fence post in here and one on the other side and I grab a stone half slab, slab or some stairs and put right here for the steps getting up into it whatever you want to use it's up to you all right, now that we have that, we're going to go to the front and we're going to whoops, grab the white or the gray blocks, whatever you're using, and go too high, just like this. You're going to come out one, and then you come out one more, just like that, and then come back. You should have one, two, three, four, and five, and that should stop right at your door. Do the same thing on the other side. So you're going to come out by one, whoops, nope, by one, and then five blocks. God blessed. Stop, fucker. All right, so you should have five blocks. Struggle a little bit there. Skip the space and now put four blocks. Skip a space and put four blocks. Now you're going to make that too high. Leave this block and that block open. That's where your glass is going to go. So grab your glass blocks and put those in right here. Okay, on the back side, we're going to do this right here. Go ahead and put two blocks here, two blocks here, and then two just like this. And you're going to go over one, up one, and then you're going to have three blocks, two, three. So do the same thing on this side, up one, and then back three. So that's what the back should look like so far. And put another block here here and here and one right there Do the same thing on the other side so from the back that's what you're looking at from the side that's what you're looking at now we're going to build the top and the nose section or this third layer so we're going to start on top of the glass and go three and then by five 
two, three, four, and five. That creates the front. Now we're going to do three layers of the five. Just like this. And we're going to come out by one. And then come out by four. One, two, three, four. And then three. One, two, three. And then three more out from that. One, two, and three. Now you're going to go back by three and take this back into the main body and fill it in as you go. And do the same exact thing on the other side. All right, that's what you should have so far. Hopefully you're following along this. This is a little bit more complicated, but it's not too bad. It's still a pretty easy design. All right, so let's start right here where we put these three blocks. We're going to go up by one. And again, we're going to we're going to fill this in here and make a three by three block pattern just like this. And now we're going to come forward two blocks. And you can go ahead and fill that in. And then you're going to come out one diagonal and another one diagonal and one more nope and go two and then go one go two one and then come forward until you're one block from the front now do the same thing on this side go one one two out one in two in one and then that should connect and then you can just go ahead and make this solid so that's what you have so far now take a darker color material and you're just going to make a plus sign right in the middle of this so where this block here goes out find the center and then you're just going to do this right here and that's where the the radar is going to go on top of that and we'll build that here in just a minute let's finish off the back part by building the, the stabilizer wings all right from your block of six you're going to put two more blocks just like this actually you're going to go back five blocks so three four and five on the third block you're going to go up by three and then two two on top of that just like this now you're going to put another row of blocks underneath here so you can start right there and bring that underneath and take that all the way to the end just like that all right now go underneath and you're going to have two more blocks here and you're going to have three more blocks here and then take off this back section so that's what that looks like and you can just fill this in just like that so now your tail section is ready for the stabilizers so you're going to come back to this block right here and go out one, two, three, and four. And on the fifth block, you're going to go up one and down one. On the one that you came down, you're going to have two, and then three, and two. So that's what your side fin should look like, and you're going to do the same thing over here. One, two, three, four, five. Go up one, down one, back one three three and two and that's the main part of the Hawkeye now let's build the radar system all right so go back to your light material or your dark uh, lighter gray put one block and then put a half slab up on top of it now you're gonna go out from the center six blocks in each direction so one two three four five six one two three four five six one two three four five six one, two, three, four, five, six. Now these are going to be five wide out here. So make each one of those, each, each fucking one of those five wide. So you're going to just put two on each side. Two on each side, two on <laughs> each side. And now all you're going to do is just go diagonal. And you can leave that block in there because you're going to fill this in. Just like that like that like this and like that and fill that bastard in and that is your e2 hawkeye all right i got in a little bit of a hurry i started off on the next section and actually had to come back and retrace my steps we forgot the fucking propellers come out three blocks one two three and on the fourth block you're going to start your row come in one block and go two three four and five Put the tip of your propeller here and go up one and over one, down one, over one, and just make an X. That's all you're doing. Do the exact same thing on the other side. Count in three, come forward five, and you have 
your prop system. Now, that is the E2 Hawkeye. So that's pretty much the big birds. Let's fly over here real quick. I'm going to show you some variations that I've done. Uh, let's see. This one here is for the parked version. Uh, if All you're going to do is take off this, this outside section. So you're going to have five blocks, four blocks, three blocks, two blocks, and then you can park it inside the big Enterprise. So that, there's your parked version. Super simple. And this version here is uh, it's like an F-16. I just ripped off the side pieces and I built a single fin in the in the back here. I did not use this because it's <laughs> we didn't fly uh, we didn't have F-16s on the ships. We mainly had uh, F-18s and uh, F-14s. So, but those making you know, like an Air Force base or some something like that, and you want a different variation. And there's your F-16. This is your variation, another one that does your F-18. Didn't quite like this as much, but it angles the wings back. So all I did was just take the top two rows and just push them out. That's it. And it turned it into an F-18. Kind of simple. Not, not too bad. Like I said, I wasn't real crazy about these two designs, so I just I didn't use them. But it gives you something else to, to look at. Your Hawkeye, you know, you can fold the, uh, the wings up just like this. So on the, let's see, we had four blocks, and then you had three blocks. And then three blocks here. So you just build up your wing section like that. I'll let you look at it. And you can curl this over inside of the big Enterprise. These three blocks touch the ceiling, so if that bugs you, you can just fold these three over. It doesn't matter. So that's one variation, and this is the same thing right here with the three blocks sticking upward. Now on the inside of the Hawkeye, uh, we have the, had the half slab up in here and a half slab here. You can put a stone stair here. It doesn't matter. There, there's the back. You can put some more seats back here if you want to. Uh, up front, I put one more block right here, just behind the main glass section. I took this piece of glass out, and I put in the levers on this side and that side, put a seat, and then I used double slab behind it, uh, just for a different material on the inside. You can use cobblestone or stone, or you can go back to your white or your gray wool or a dark gray wool. The inside is, is awesome because you can walk around and decorate it just a little bit. It's not huge, but you can put a few things in there. <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> to make this thing in the fly version, uh, also I added, oh, on the outside I added a half slab. So it looks like this piece here opens up for the wheel. In the flight version, again, you just, you can rip this off, rip the wheels off, rip that off, and take that off, and take that off, and then go ahead and make the door solid. Or you can push it back by one, so it gives it a little bit of depth. That's up to you, however you want to do it. I left the door open and the stairs on it, I think, in mine. And the half slab, of course, is not going to be there because there's no way to close it off unless you want to do this right here. That's fine. Just some different options for you to look at with the E2 Hawkeye. All right, last one is the Blackhawk helicopter. Let's go take a look at it. Okay, so this is your setup for your helicopter. Three blocks with your buttons. Starting from the first one, you're going to have a fence post, one, two, three, four, and five on the second block, and there's the third block over, fence post, and a wheel. Put your buttons on the outside, and that's the base. Pretty simple. Now we're going to have three blocks up here, so go one, two, three, and now you're going to come back two, and actually you're going to come back four. Now on the inside, I used half slabs. To, uh, to make the bottom of the helicopter, and I'm going to show you real quick so you can you can look in there, but you can't go in there. That's that's the only problem. And you can use either cobblestone or a stone half slab, whatever. It doesn't matter. Um, and the only reason I did it is just to get, to give it a little bit more depth, and uh, it made, made it look like you know it actually hauled shit. Whatever. It doesn't fucking matter why I did it. <laughs> that's what it looks like. So right here. We're going to run their half slabs down the middle and have another set like this and then come back two. So now we're going to go back to our black blocks and we're going to put three so it's just past the wheel and we're going to go up two and on the fourth and the second block we're going to put those here here and then another three two three and you can fill the back in just like that. And now you can use glass blocks or glass panes. It doesn't matter. I use glass panes on the front and I think glass blocks on the side. So just go ahead and put those in, whatever your choosing is. Now go to the back and put two blocks right here. 
now we're going to build the stabilizing piece that goes in the back and that's nine blocks counting right here one two three four five six seven eight and nine put one here on top and whoops and one underneath just like that all right on the back side or the right side of the bird put an iron bar just like this and then three on this side and then take your half slabs again I used cobblestone on this one I've got stone slabs so I'm gonna put that's what I'm gonna use put one here and put one there and it actually doesn't look too bad with the white but that's the texture pack that I am using now let's finish off the front piece all right, so starting right back here, come in one block and go ahead and put one right there too. And come forward five blocks, two, three, four, and five. Do the same thing over here, one, two, three, four, and five. Now you're gonna have two blocks up front, so it covers up the, the glass piece just like that. And you can fill this in solid. And now you're gonna take your iron bars and just above this block here where the glass is, you're gonna put your rotor section. Now you can center it up a little bit more, it doesn't matter. So you can go on that block if you want to. You're just gonna make an X pattern on top of the, the bird, which then, yeah, I guess that's a little more even than what I have on mine. I kinda of threw mine together real fast. And now you're gonna put your, your main rotor blades on. All right, so on the inside, uh, the Xbox version, you guys are gonna be a little bit screwed on this because we're allowed to use the top part of the, the hit box uh, so you're going to end up putting it here every fucking time. The only alternative that you have is to build this up by two. Still doesn't look, it still doesn't look bad, but it, it looks a little different. So PC version is definitely the way to go on this one, but it still works on the Xbox. So we're going to put those in here like that, and then we're going to come out by six. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Same thing here. Two, three, oops, one, two, three. Three, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, and six. And one, God blessed shithole. One, two, three, four, five, four, five, six. That doesn't look right. I'm missing one. One there. And that's your main rotor if you want to leave it uh, sitting still, if you want it to make it look like it's turning. Then all you got to do is just come here to the corner and just go out five blocks. Three, four, uh, four, five. That's four on that one. So I must be one short. So one, two, three, four, five, and then to the center piece. So yeah, one, two, three, four, and five. There it is. There it is. Okay, yeah, I was, sorry guys, I was one short. And then just do the same thing on the other, the other three sections. Now to fold the wings back, again, on the Xbox version, you're a little bit fucked on this one because, again, we're going to use the, uh, the top part of the hitbox on the bottom one. Do your front and your back rotor. Put another iron block on the top, and you're going to hit it on the bottom part of the iron block, so down here, not the top. Come out by two and go back one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So you have eight back and then two over and that will fit inside the destroyer which I have a tutorial coming up later this month so that will park actually inside the hangar bay so there's your Black Hawk helicopter or helicopter whatever you want to call it and the rest of your birds I hope this was an easy fun tutorial for you guys it should be a lot easier after doing the the carrier tutorials and uh, just remember to rate comment subscribe guys follow me on Twitter and I'll catch you guys on the next one later